citizens of Israel. This evening, we formed a national emergency government. The people of Israel are united, and today its leadership is also united. We have set aside any other consideration because the fate of our country is at stake here. We are going to work together shoulder to shoulder for the benefit of all Israelis, for the benefit of the state of Israel. And I would like to, I would like to say to you, dear citizens, we've seen these savages we've seen these barbarians we are dealing with we are fighting against a brutal and vicious enemy an enemy which is worse than ISIS we've seen little children boys and girls being handcuffed and shot in their head men and women who were burned alive young women who were raped and massacred Combatants who were decapitated. In one place, they placed people together and brought spare tires, spare wheels from all around to have burning materials and then burned these people alive. It is so horrific. It is so atrocious. The p- atrocious. The pain is so great. Every family in Israel knows someone who had perished. And you start hearing the news and you start hearing the names and it's terrible. I think we all know people that their loved ones were massacred, were burned, were killed. But as great as this atrocity is... So is our heroism great. Men and women, mothers and fathers, combatants and civilians who showed extreme heroism and bravery. They all fought and we are all fighting for our home. The unity among our nation in times of sorrow, it breaks beyond our boundaries and it reaches the whole world. We saw it yesterday in the important and moving speech of President Biden. I spoke with him today for the fourth time, for the fourth time since this war broke out. We have unprecedented international support for Israel and this is a critical component for this ongoing uh, battle and warfare. Aircrafts are on their way here and a lot of ammunition is coming to Israel and will be arriving at Israel. And it's important. We are fighting in full force in all theaters. Now we are on the offensive. Every Hamas operative will die. Hamas is ISIS. We will crush them and get rid of them just as the world crushed and got rid of ISIS. I would like to strengthen our combatants, all the people in our security forces and relief and rescue forces. The entire people of Israel are behind you. And I would like to say to you, citizens of Israel, and I'm saying here to my friends, and I'm saying this to all of you, the words of the prophet Isaiah. We will all help out each other. Am Israel Chai, and together we shall win.